Hello everybody, welcome to another progress update video. Let me run along and talk about the new stuff I've added. All right, I'll climb up here. First we got this area. Nothing groundbreaking, it's a little corridor that you're just supposed to run through quickly. But this room has one new mechanic that I had to implement to complete it. And it's this ice over here. So in the original, when you touch ice, you basically just slide down. You're unable to steer at all or even jump. So I wanted to recreate that behavior, but I have a little bug that I want to show you. If I jump on it straight on, I have momentum that pushes me forward first, and then I go back. This wasn't the behavior that was there in the original game, but I, I'm not sure if I want to fix this bug right now because it kind of seems like a feature. Like I imagine that this could be a cool gameplay element where you have to jump on ice like at a correct angle or speed to clear some kind of gap, gap or something. So I figured maybe I'll just leave it in and maybe polish it a little more later so it's an actual feature and not just a bug. All right, so I think this is it for this room. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so this room is blue, as you can see. I figured that's what made the most sense considering the huge blue light source on the bottom of the room. If we move a couple steps forward, Slapdash would, will pop out. Yeah, so Slapdash is very basic. He just shoots at me uh, when I'm out of his melee range and once I move into his melee range, will just smack me and push me which also is a new mechanic that I had to implement for the enemies to be able to push Rayman um, now to make him a little more interesting I thought that maybe it would be cool if his if fist projectile and mine would cancel each other out when they hit each other it's not a big thing but just like a little detail that maybe will make him a little more interesting than he is normally yeah so as you can see, he has a dollar sign to indicate that the power-up will uh, fall out of him. So let's make that happen. And here we have a black lump flying away. Boom, he exploded when he <laughs> hit the wall. Uh, I will may post some screenshots from Blender of the black lump right now. Maybe show you the model a little closer. All right, let's move on to the next enemy that's new in this room, and that's the Poto crab, I think they're called. I'll put the screenshot of the remade model on screen too. So to be honest, this enemy, I always found a little pointless. Uh, you just spam click and they disappear. So like with Slapdash, I wanted to try to make him a little more interesting in some way. So the change I made is that when you try to hit them, it actually hurts Rayman because they're so spiky and it like hurts his fist. So you need the green power up to blow them away. Just like that. I just thought that this way they could be an element of a bigger puzzle where, you know, you need to actually find a power up and get there in time to clear the way. And just like in the original, when you jump on them, they push you away. Okay, so now that all the enemies are gone, we can try to open these doors. To open them, you need to find the main villain in one of these fairy houses. I don't have the Andre model made yet, but still one of them at random oh it was this one <laughs> this one opened the door but just to show what would happen if it wasn't this one let me light up the other ones we'll make this room nice and orange up over here like this one maybe this one and i'll climb up to this one Pretty nice. I think one more cool thing about this room I could show is this material of the ice on the floor. I think what's cool about it is that it has this illusion of depth, even though it's a flat plane, but it kind of looks like a some kind of frozen magical ice. Okay, let's move on to the next one. 
So this area over here has another new feature and that's the kind of climbing between walls. So this I also added and it works. As you can see, I'm jumping up. And then we have this cave here in which the stairs are supposed to crumble once you run through them, which they don't yet. I'm gonna add that later. So comparing this room to the original, you can see that I changed it quite a bit. I made the lighting be like gold and purple and put this huge kind of chandelier or light source uh, on the top of the ceiling. The reason I did this is because story-wise, this is supposed to be the room to the heart of the world. And I figured that it makes a little more sense to kind of make this route look important in some way, instead of just having this ghetto cave that was there in the original. So this is what kind of dictated that change. Okay, why don't I run up the stairs? Maybe we'll get a different view on the room. All right. And as you can see, there's a dead end, nothing here. Surprised. Okay, so let's run along here now. We have the two crab ninjas throwing their stars at me. I've had this little idea that I think is pretty cool. You know how in the original game on one of them, a rock falls and he dies. I wanted to do something like they did in Gears of War 3 and do a poll where people can vote whether that one crab ninja should get squashed by a rock or not and the voting results won't be public. So the only way for people to find out whether that crab will survive the rock or not is by playing the demo once I release it. All right, let's kill these guys. And talk about this room right now. So here I wanted to go for something a little less illuminated and like a little overgrown since, you know, we fell here through a hole in the ground. So I imagined that this place isn't used much. It's like a, a bit like a forgotten basement or something. So yeah, I'll pick up the health. By the way, I don't know if you remember the hanging dildo from the previous episode, but I would like to introduce its brother, the hanging turd. <laughs> yeah, it's just this floating weird shaped rock that they placed there. <laughs> to kind of fix that, I just made the turd bigger <laughs> to push it in between the walls. Now, before I run through this room, I would like to talk a little bit about the changes that I've made to the player camera. So to kind of blend between the classic system that we had in Rayman 3 and some modern camera systems that we have now, the way I did it is that I have these two system camera systems that kind of work simultaneously, let's say. And right now, as I'm just moving, the camera works pretty much the same way as it worked in the original game. But as soon as I grab my mouse and start moving it, then the new system kicks in and it works pretty much how you would expect it to work for any modern game. But let's say I let go of the mouse, the camera smoothly moves back into the old system. So we have this kind of blend between two. And what's cool about this is that you can easily disable one or the other in the game settings if you want. If you like just want the old system or just want the new system. And also you can customize the delay between the two systems. So now it moves back to the old system after like a half a second of me letting go of the mouse button, but you could set it to like be five seconds or 10 seconds or whatever you want to make it comfortable for you. I think this system feels pretty unique. I'm pretty proud of it. I hope that once you guys get your hands on it, you're gonna feel the same way and not just like, what the hell is this? This is so stupid, but <laughs> we'll see. Okay, why don't I run through this room now? Climb up over here with the new movement mode. Do this. Now we have the climbing vines and the rock is falling. So is this one. It's even cut, kind of cutting through the vines. And once I get over here, now this is actually all there is. 
So yeah, a cutscene should start here, but the cutscenes are going to come at the end. Okay, so why don't I do some camera flybys now, like in the previous episode. And after that, I have one more update that I want to show, which I think is probably the most important update of the whole project. So you better keep watching. <laughs> All right, thank you all for watching. I hope you had fun. I will roll the clip now with that mysterious update I teased earlier. So goodbye and have a good day.